Loneliness sits in the bottom of my back like a dull ache. It's been there for 30 years. I can't recall the feeling when I was an infant, but I'm sure it's what woke me and my parents up in the middle of the night. Even with my mother swaddling and rocking me, making ocean sounds in my ear, I would wail like a polar bear caught in a bear trap. It didn't help my back ache. I don't think she knew what would. She called me a fussy baby, a wild child, told me she had hope once I learned how to walk, I would stop crying. That maybe once I started to talk, I would stop running. My parents always said I had a fear of missing out on something. It was never in fear. It was in hope that if I surrounded myself with more people, more engagements, it would be the cure to the aching. Fear came later. I used to try to find comfort in stillness, try to cure loneliness with isolation, because when I hear laughter, it just reminds me of how much my back really aches, that these fleeting moments of giggles will vanish like holiday seasons, and I'm left with mundane days to feel in between. How is it possible to live among six billion people until the wind blows through you? I love yous and lavish compliments bounce off my heart like bulletproof glass guarantees. They never stick, never got through. I often wondered, is it possible to be born dead? Is it possible to have the organs running without a driver? This is how I feel before I take a drink. My mother said when I was three, I picked up her scotch glass without her looking and downed the whole shot, wiped my baby mouth without a twinge of a sting, held out my glass and said more. Mm. It was the first time I sat still. More has been my motivator. Fucking just hurts now. See, I fucked my way out of feeling ugly. It just left me distorted, angled, guilty. <coughs> I want it gentle now. Gentle like my grandmother holding my head in her hands to memorize my face just in case she sleeps too long to come back. Oh. So she can dream of my freckles and short eyelashes. I want to sleep with someone like that. I want to be memorized. Test them in the morning. What color are my eyes? I want them to answer in a second without saying brown. Tell me if there's a green speck in the center of my cornea that gets brighter when I cry. And it gets brighter every day. See, I've had doctors diagnose me through windstorms and prescriptions, told me, get out of bed and get social. So I crawled out of my bed cough and went to social places with medicines on the back wall, shots of tequila, double vodkas and soda would numb the aching long enough while I stood in high heels, feeling claustrophobic in open spa spaces. It felt like saran wrap tightly wrapped around my mouth, hands cemented in pavement with spiders making nests in my hair, with friends talking to me about the weather. Wishing I didn't feel the wind blow through me, that the laughter they had would roll down my throat and keep my eyes from always landing on the ground, and I still don't know what to do with these hands. See, I'm no longer reaching up to shock glasses, I'm reaching up for God, my daily reprieve, having conversations with the sunsets, asking it to rise in my blood and give me strength, because these days, it's not about the drink. It's about finding recovery over malady and how to deal with these fucking feelings, Staying still long enough to give my back relief. Let it be.